My name is Kayla Walker and I'm one of the founding members. So I've been here since the beginning and I got to see, oh my goodness, this is how a church starts from nothing. And now if you look around, this is huge compared to what it was. God has used Pleasant Valley in a lot of ways in our family. And I feel like for me, it taught me the power of prayer because I really don't think our church would be here without prayer. My mom was one of them that would come and sit in the parking lot and pray that this was the building and that this was gonna be where God was gonna grow his church. And I don't know, it made me more aware of what it means to believe in something that God is working on. Cause you kinda are like, okay, can you see the future of this? And so knowing how to pray for something that you may never see the fullness of it. And um, I think that was something for just watching my mom because she was such a big thing of like getting the children's ministry going and things like that. And she would pray for all the hundreds of people that would come and she didn't get to see it, but I'm getting to see what she prayed for. Like I'm getting to see the fruits of that and I can't imagine what our prayers now are gonna lead to. So praying for my church is a big thing that I've learned. But I think that is a part of leaving a legacy in God's kingdom because now it's His glory and your life had that purpose and you may never know how many people you're gonna see in heaven someday just because you were kind to someone or you, you were gracious and generous and you gave of your gifts and your resources and time to something that may seem small now, but it can be so big. It's a joy for me to give to Pleasant Valley with my time and my gifts, but also financially. Um, you're able to not just wonder where your money's going, you're getting to see it, not just through the missions we do, I mean, look the list up. There are so many things here in Owensboro and overseas that we're giving to, and we're seeing impacts everywhere. But look around too, you're seeing the growth of our church. And I feel like when you can see that your dollars are going someplace that's productive and going to help people and going to get the mission across, that, that fuels my joy, so. Generosity is like a road. You gotta get started and not really know where you're gonna head down, but keep straight on that path. And um, my mom taught me and my dad taught me a lot about generosity growing up. When I would get my allowance, I'd get a dollar and I'd have to give 10 cents to the church. But I, I know that, that that was the start of my generosity journey. I knew, okay, if I've been given this, why would I not wanna give it? back to God. Like, he's gonna do way more with that 10 cents than me. As someone who's been here for the first 15 years of Pleasant Valley, it's really exciting to see where the next 15 years are gonna take us. And a lot of big changes are coming for Pleasant Valley. And I think from the beginning, this is where we're supposed to be. But we're busting at the seams. So it's like, we've gotta do something. If we want more people to come, we gotta give them space to come add on, make this place bigger, make it more inviting for our kids not to be squished like sardines in the children's ministry. I think it's just going to be an amazing 15 years and I'm just ready for it to get started. I'm ready to see where we're going and be a part of it.